tries to turn it outside. It does. He's at the 30 on his feet at the 35. Finally rolled down with a first down all the way out at the 38-yard line. High snap, brings it down, play fakes. He'll keep it, run to his left, and he is filled for a loss. He's in the shotgun, play fakes to Cottom. Stands in and now lets it fly deep for the end zone. It is intercepted yes. at the back line of the end zone. 43 and a half of MSU high snap in the shotgun and he winds up. He's hit. There it is. He is hit. That ball is loose. It's scooped up. Danikos Allen's got it. Danikos into the end zone. Touchdown MSU. What a hit by Max Buller to pop the ball loose. Oh, it was great. I mean, uh, you know, that was my first touchdown in my career. You know, I pretty much, you know, experienced every other you know, aspect of the game. You know, forced fumbles, fumble recovers, all that stuff. You know, but I never had a touchdown, and uh, you know, it was a great feeling. First down and 10. Spartans at their 24. Hand off to Jeremy Langford. Cuts outside, left of the 30 to 35, and out to the 40-yard line. Jeremy Langford out of bounds at the 42. Price starts in motion left to right. Short drop by Connor Cook. Quick throw. Oh. Nice leaping grab by Tony Lippett. Uh. Took it away from the Boilermakers. Turned and stayed on his feet. Pistol formation for Cook. He'll toss it on a reverse oh, he's got to Tony Lippett left to right. He's going to throw, and it's caught in the end zone by Andrew Gleichert. Touchdown, MSU. Nice, nice trick play on second down and goal at the five. No, I was thinking about running it in. I was going to, but I don't get too many chances to throw a touchdown, so I just said, let me just you know, throw, throw him a touchdown. Was rolling out and I was looking like, okay, about to break, and I don't see no Purdue Boilermakers over there. So I'm either going to run it or I'm going to throw it, and trying to be done a selfish person, just throw, the, throw him a touchdown. Etling takes a short shotgun snap. Looks upfield and finally pulls That's the who? ball down, and he's pulled down by Shalik Calhoun. Calhoun with a sack. We want to be dominant through all four quarters, so the fourth quarter, you know, is, is the finishing stretch, so we just try to maintain our dominance and, you know, keep being productive as a D-line and our defensive unit. Another message for our football team, I think, you know, you just got to continue to be able to handle, handle success, as we talked about. Credit Purdue, I thought they did a tremendous job in coming out ready to play. Um, Threw a different tailback at us a little bit, and he ran through some tackles. They got some big plays, and they had opportunities. So uh, an outstanding job there, and really it was 7-0 all the way probably to the eight-minute mark in the fourth quarter or so. So I want to congratulate them and Coach Hazel on what he was able to do. 6-1, and one, and we're uh, bowl eligible, and that was the goal going into this game. It took us to the last game last year because of the close losses that we had to make that. So now we start climbing the ladder opportunity to go to play at Illinois next week and to uh, to further that. 3-0 in the Big Ten Conference, so that's our main focus to get to that championship game.